Marvel Studios seems very keen on getting ahead of leaks by showing off multiple things related to upcoming films. Thor 11 Thunder being the next one means we finally have an official confirmation that the leaks we saw previously are in fact true. Thor's new armor is very blue and gold. Well guys, we've known for a while that Thor Love and Thunder would have a change up to Thor's costume that's pretty uh, divisive so far from what we've seen from fans. Um, you know, having a huge amount of blue on it and other images showing a huge amount of gold, which looks like he's probably going to have two costumes, was something that many fans were questioning. And again, I think we got to see it in live action to really kind of understand what it looks like in motion, but so far... This is what we got right here from the packaging of brand new action figures that should be hitting the Tory shelves in the next two months. And they are our best look so far at his costume. And honestly, I think the comparison to Icarus stands very valid. Like the blue and the way they use the gold just honestly jumps out in the same exact way. It's just a little brighter. And I personally don't have too much of a problem with it here because still, this is toy packaging. It's not, you know like a trailer with it in motion or anything like that. I think once we see that, maybe it's going to look better, you know, when the lighting is proper and they don't have to put a bigger emphasis on selling the toy and making it vibrant and catch everybody's eyes, which if you look at it, typically this is how it's always been with MCU things, even DC things at that. It's always brighter on the toy packaging and everything. Now, I could also be wrong with this one, and I think most of us could because it is Taika, and he's been known for going out there and going way too comic booky, or sometimes being almost faithful to a fault. And we've heard that this film is insane and going to do things that we don't expect. So maybe an armor and a costume like the ones we just looked at are a part of that. Which only get, makes me more excited for whatever this film is. As far away as they can get from what Thor was before and throw in random things that make me excited for this, I will take it personally. And... This costume just kind of tells me that maybe they're just going to go loose. You know, let loose and go, eh, just do whatever, who cares? Like, maybe this will make a billion dollars, maybe it won't. Maybe it's the final Thor, maybe it's not, we don't know. Let's take a big risk with it. And that's legit what makes me the most excited here. So, overall, I will say, I'm not opposed to what this looks like. I'm not the biggest fan of it yet. I, I just need to see it in motion. If it comes down to it, you guys know I grade suits on a, would I buy a hot toy of it or not? I don't think I will. If it's this bright, I definitely need to add a Thor in my collection. It's the one I'm missing. But it's something about this one just, I, I don't know yet. I have to see maybe the alternative outfit or maybe if they're going to produce some of the older ones so I can get one of those. I personally really enjoyed the outfit he had at the beginning of Ragnarok. So I think that one's probably my favorite still. But again... Let's just wait and see how this plays out when the trailer hits. I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Uh, I mean, it's probably the most negative I've been to a look of an MCU costume. But again, it's just personal preference. I think it just... The colors are a little too bright for me. But again, we don't know the entire visual aesthetic of the film. Maybe they just fit right in. We go, oh yeah, that's straight up Jack Kirby. Perfect. But again, we know so little. It just doesn't click with me yet.